I know my eyebrows look a bit crazy, but I'm going to explain that in a few minutes. Just be patient. channel my name is Naninga Koi for those of you who do not know and those of you who have been around me for a while thank you so much for coming back thank you for clicking on this video if you are a new person um, I've been doing makeup tutorials for a while I've done so many makeup tutorials including a drag queen makeup tutorial and if you haven't seen it I'm going to link it up below so not up below up above yes and down below too so um, I sat down and I thought and I thought and I thought and I thought and then eventually I was like, hmm, I've done that. What? As if Africans do goth makeup. No, they don't. But, so, of course, as usual, I had to go to Pinterest. <laughs> you know, Pinterest is the place, guys. Pinterest is the place. So. so I did a quick search on goth makeup and of course I wasn't disappointed. I got so many options. I was shocked. I was bamboozled. There's even like sub sub i think sub genus of goth makeup like i can see their pastel every day soft tutorial trad okay so i saw this nice girl who was busy applying makeup on her face turns out it was pastel goth whatever pastel goth is and i was almost doing this that's why i was so interested in this like tutorial then i realized that i'm an african and pastels are never good looking on africans let's be honest like pastel colors Oh, I'll end up looking like a cheap hoe. I won't even lie. So, this one was trashed away and taken away. But she did look good. Then I saw the classic goth. Oh, I had to go back and see her. There she is. Classic goth look. Oh, then it redirected me. Then I was like, ah, oh, nah. So, I ended up scrolling, 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 scrolling. Well, then I saw this one, then I was almost like, ooh. Then I saw pastel again, then I was like, no. Then I saw melanin, so I had to click on it. So the melanin girl, unfortunately, I didn't see any makeup on her that was worth it. So I just, then I saw these eyebrows. <laughs> just pose and look at those eyebrows. Then I was like, this is the one. Just in case you're wondering what a goth person is, I did do a quick Google search for you and I was not disappointed. Google does not disappoint, I can guarantee you. So I did Google what the heck is a goth person and yes, as you can see that from that definition, the repeating word there is black. So there's black hair, black makeup, black eyeliner, black finger polish. Yeah, so that is what a goth is and so let's just dive into the video. As usual. I have to define my brows. You know those people who are used to having scarce brows always have to define them unfortunately. So I'm just using a concealer to define those fake brows that have painted on, painted, painted on. And then of course I'm going to use an eyeshadow base because you saw the colors that I'm going to use. They have to pop like they have to pop those colors. So I'm just using a white one so that they can be more visible creating a blank canvas. I'm just going to take that dark chocolate color that you can see there and I'm going to apply it all over that canvas. I'm sure you're going to wonder like why like you already that color why did you apply a brown one? I don't know it, it makes a difference. <laughs> so then I'm just taking that very light one and I'm going to apply it just below my eyebrow like on the tail of the eyebrow yeah where you can see me applying yeah then I'm just going in with that dark color again and I'm just filling it in towards the inner eyebrow Then I'm just going to go in with that black it's not even black it's like a dark gray yeah it's like a dark gray shade and I'm just going to apply it like in the crease of my eye specifically the crease not on the eyelid so so that it can look like that photo you saw One thing you have to note about this um, kind of eyeshadow look, for, uh, like the goth eyeshadow, is that they use matte colors. There's no shimmery colors in this makeup look, so everything is matte. Even the cut crease, everything is just matte. And then I'm just going to go in with that concealer. 
and I like applying it on my hand first I don't know why because maybe excess comes out you know I have a hand, heavy hand so I'm just going to like create the cut crease like the to demarcate the area where I'm going to apply the red color and as I've said every color is matte so I'm just taking that matte red shade and I'm just going to apply it there where I've created the cut crease on my eyelid throughout the eyelid just below the black one next I'm just going to take this Maybelline um, eyeliner and I'm going to by the way this eyeliner is the one that I used to create those eyebrows so I actually used an eyeliner not a felt pen I know it looks like a felt pen but it was an eyeliner so I'm just creating a wing a nice little wing over there yeah and I noticed that she had like a wing in the inner corner of her eyes like on the lower eyelid and that's what I'm creating over here a lower eyelid wing watching you're still here my friend kindly hit the subscribe button the red button down below and i'll truly appreciate it so you'll have so much fun on this channel and now I'm just going to take this Maybelline um, mascara and I'm going to use it. By the way, I noticed another thing about the goth makeup looks that I searched on Pinterest. They do not use fake lashes. Lots of them don't have any fake lashes. So they're just sort of natural but overboard, let's say. And yeah. Now I'm just taking that concealer because they do not also highlight and contour their face. So I'm just going to conceal first. So I'm just concealing like dark circles and stuff and then now I'll after that I'll apply this foundation here which is the Revlon foundation in the shade 530 Pecan. So I'm going to apply it all over my face. As I've said they do not highlight and contour. The face is just supposed to be blank. No contours, no highlights, no nothing. So I'm just going to apply this setting powder that is Maybelline setting powder and I'm going to apply it all over my face because there's no concealer or anything to set so I'm just applying it so that I can create an even color on my face yeah So because I don't have a matte black lipstick, I'm just going to use this sheer dark blue uh, lipstick from Revlon. It's called Midnight Mystery. Unfortunately, it has like specks of glitter in it and it's dark blue, it's not black. And also, um, it, it's sheer. So that's the one I'm using. So this is the final look, guys. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. I think it is so good, to be honest. But... I think I did a good job. I think it sounds five out of five stars. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I think I'd pass for a god. What do you think? I know Africans are going to pray for me. Kenyans, what? Thank you guys for your prayers. I really appreciate it. But it's just makeup. <laughs> but it's creepy. I agree. It's creepy, but. Thank you so much guys for joining me in this video. I'm going to film another video the next video that you guys are going to see which is trying on my clothing at 2. I hope you're excited to see that one and if you haven't seen part one, I'm going to link it up there. 
So make sure to check out also part one of trying out my own clubbing clothing. I no longer club guys, but I have plenty of clubbing clothing. Honestly, this makeup even makes my already bad teeth look worse. They look yellow. Wow. Hmm. But anyway, thank you so much guys for joining me. This hair is so bad. Like ay, wigs. I wish we could just do without wigs, honestly. But thank you so much guys for joining me. I'll see you in my next video and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And bye. Good day.